So I open up the lever nut and slide it on to the conductor. Make sure it fully engages and boom, you're good to go. Hey, 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 we're adding beauty to this 1960s home, AKA pimping out our cameraman's laundry room. Let's take a look. So let's start with the unboxing. It does say we love earth, we pack it green. I appreciate that effort. This is exactly how it arrived to us. So no outer packaging beyond this. Instructions. See if we need those. What is that? It's green styrofoam? Is there such a thing? <laughs> parts bag. That's what I expect. All the parts together in one place. All right, <clears throat> that insulation is typical and necessary. I've got no issues with that. Effectively, it um, separates the heat of what could be coming off the incandescent bulbs from the wiring, so it doesn't just bake in an enclosed electrical box. So uh, that's typical. It also provides insulation if you've got like a real hot attic that's above, that could be 140 degrees, right? Um, that electrical box acts as a, um, a heat exchanger right air passage from the hot attic into your living space so I think that's a dual purpose function from what I understand quite normative let's pull out the uh, components there's the decorative knob at the end there's the post that secures the glass wire nuts screws fixture mounting bracket now the next thing I'm the, the first thing I'm going to do in the actual installation process is I'm going to verify that the existing light works because if there's a, an existing issue, I want to know before I get into it and take ownership for the problem. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to dismount. I'm going to understand how my box is placed and then I'm going to locate my bracket and my mounting components to fit before I even climb on the ladder to mount the light fixture. So far, it seems like a sturdy light fixture and it's got a nice decorative uniform appearance but kind of expect that Ooh. it's a 1960s home there it is all right it spins off it just wasn't moving at first see that damaged insulation right there that's where it's grown brittle and just broken loose and then look at the color difference both of those were white conductors originally now one's brown that's just from the heat i want to Put some electrical tape on that. If it wasn't in an electrical box, greater measures would be required. Um, but in a controlled environment like that, where it's gonna be protected, and I can push it back out of the way. Putting some good scotch tape on it. It's not, not terrible at all. And that insulation is presently pliable, so it's not damaged beyond um, repair. I do like that the box is flush with the ceiling. That's gonna make it easier. Prefabbing the bracket to the fixture is good so that when you go to put the mounting nuts on, everything fits and lines up because you only have about a quarter inch of play in those mounting nuts before you bottom out. But thankfully, the box is flush with the ceiling. The bracket's ready to go. It feels solid. It's got a nice weight to it. You know, sometimes the... Uh, <laughs> Like the neck, if you will, where these components come together. Sometimes it's real flimsy, but I don't have any issues with this. The nuts tightened up, nothing's coming loose, nothing's rattling. Pretty good. I'm gonna do one more thing. I like using lever nuts for mounting light fixtures. Lever nuts are just so handy. They're not the only option. But they're one option. <laughs> and so I open up the lever nut and slide it on to the conductor. 
make sure it fully engages and boom, you're good to go. Now it's gonna be easy to insert and clip the other wire into place when I'm holding the fixture up. You can kind of have your hands full. And it's nice when it runs smoothly. So I'm gonna untwist these two neutrals, straighten them out so they'll engage the lever nut. Shorten them up because they're a little too long. I've got multiple grounds, four total grounds. So I'm going to use a wire nut on the grounds because I've got three port lever nuts. <clears throat> I'm going to use the screws provided. They're 832s, which is standard for lighting fixtures. Make sure when you're tightening your screws in that they don't penetrate any of the wires. In a box of this style, it's quite possible. I'm going to move that neutral a little bit out of the way there. All right, I'm ready to go. My grounds are short. I'm gonna have to make do with what I've got. I'm gonna ground the fixture to the bracket, which will ground to the box and to the established grounds themselves. So let's put it up. I like to find a comfortable place to brace the fixture if I can. And then those lever nut ports are open and available. Stick it in, boom, done. Tug test it, make sure that lever closes all the way. Stick it in, close it, tug test it. All right, this is where you've got to start fitting everything in there. And you do want to shove it in the box and definitely not just compress the wiring against the ceiling. Stick it up in there. If you need to get a hand, that's not a bad idea. All right, I've got the ground wrapped around the ground screw. It is a bit of a handful if it's a function you're not familiar with. And now my screwdriver's at an awkward angle, but let's see if I can get it snugged up without having to hop down and get a stubby screwdriver. With a lightweight fixture, I don't mind hanging the fixture off the ground. Now it's a question of lining the holes in the fixture with the mounting studs on the bracket, taking a good eyeball, careful lining up and then just going for it. Poke around to find it. Come on, where are you? Boom, there's the first one. And to avoid losing it, I'm gonna get the nut on there just enough to hold it. I'm looking for that second one, there it is. And if your box, see how those barely came through? If your box was up in the ceiling, you'd need to space that bracket down and secure it tightly. It can't move around on you if it's wiggling, you'll probably never get it in there, but you've got to space it so it's flush with the ceiling. And that's exactly what this was designed for. I'm glad. Sometimes those screws are in the brackets just absolutely willy nilly, but that was a good clean finish, both on the box and the mounting bracket, just like it should be. You get these thumb screws hand tight. There it is. Let's put the bulbs in and give it a trial run before I put the shade up. Now that we know it works, shut it off while we finish working on it. And okay, so I could check the instructions. You know what I do? I pull that, there's a nut and a padded nut. I pull those off. I put the hex nut back on. What, uh, what I'm doing is taking a small measure to prevent shattering this glass as I gently snug it down. No torque wrench action here. So the shade mounting stem goes up. It's got uh, some adjustment on both ends, which is nice. I'll see where it needs to be here. And then I put that foam washer, set it right in there, lining it up with the hole. Mm, there it is. All right, and then take the big finisher and there's not enough to grab. So we need to lower the whole equation a little bit, which is easily done. 
I'm going to use the top adjustment. I'm going to spin this off. <sighs> Probably about eight full threads, and then I'm going to turn it back about two, maybe three, and that way I'm, I know I've got a grab. I know I'm not right at the edge, right? If I just spun it back six, how would I know it's not about to pop off? So spin it back eight, back it on two or three, and try again. And I tighten that hex nut so the, the mounting stem is not loose. It's firmly in place. And there it goes. That looks about right. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's adjust it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is all it's got. One, two, three, four. I feel like that is as far as I'm willing to go. I've got pretty much three full threads. Let's come back on. Okay. I don't know where it is. Realize based on where it's hitting, it's not hitting here. It's hitting right here on this nut. Not bad, let's give it a shot. Final check, boom. We went from this to that. Subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money.